Okay, this uh, tutorial is going to show you how to customize some of the data in the pivot table once you've made a copy of the spreadsheet. So I did notice when you make a copy for yourself, it does take it a, a minute or so for it to actually sort fill the data in. It will say it's loading and that there's an error, but it did fill in in the end. Anyway, then you have a copy and you'll notice that the spreadsheet is not locked down here anymore. Um, be careful that you don't change any of the cells with the import range features or it won't work anymore. Um, the only place you probably would want to be editing would be the pivot table, the very last one. And this is the one I'm going to show you in this tutorial, how you can adjust some of this data. Um, when you're in the pivot table and I'm clicking anywhere that there's data, so if I click out here, my menu goes away. But it doesn't make any difference which square I'm clicked in. I just need to be in the data area. And then I can come over here and, and do a few things as far as how I have my data showing. A very powerful tool. I can come down here and I can add different filters. Right now I've got some filters that are um, showing the year in there. And uh, I could change that filter and say, well, I don't want to see all years. I just want to see schools from 2012. And they would quickly just show me my results of the schools from 2012. So you know how to change that. I can change that back. It does pop back to the top. You have to scroll back down each time. Um, and I could reselect that, come up here and say, well, no, I want all of them again. And it will do that. That's one thing you could do. You could also change the layout of your data. Right now it's showing me the schools and then the year. So for example, here, this Chester Joplin school, it's showing they completed a form in 2011 and in 2012. But maybe I wanted to have it show me all the schools in 2011 together and then all the 2012 schools together. That could be done by just taking the order here of the rows that I'm showing and just switching them. So I can just drag this box up to the top and you'll notice over here it changes the, the view and now I have all the 2011 schools along with their implementation levels listed there and the 2012 schools down here with their implementation level. So you can kind of mess around with that, moving things around and uh, creating whatever you want. Notice you can add other rows in there. This has a double row, so it has the, the, the row as the school name and the year, the column is pulling in the implementation level, but if there were other pieces of information, specific questions you want to look at, you could do that as well. Just simply add a, <clears throat> a field and you'll see you've got access to every one of the column or pieces of data that are out there. So if for any reason you were wanting to search by just certain schools <clears throat> that answered uh, questions for what kind of uh, assistance they were wanting, you could filter the data out that way as well. I'd be happy to give you some assistance on doing that if uh, you need it, but uh, mostly you'll learn just by getting in there and messing around to do it. So this tutorial is kind of an advanced tutorial for those of you who want to get in and mess with that data. Um, have at it. Make a copy and, and have fun.